Hello and welcome to Penn State Altoona. My name is Rachel Folks. I will be your tour guide today. I am a Penn State Altoona alum where I did four years as a Lion Ambassador and now I am lucky enough to work here and lucky enough to join you guys on this tour. We are currently walking through the Raymond E. Smith Building. In this building is the DUS Office, Division of Undergraduate Studies. That is where there are advisors for students who are still undeclared or haven't decided on their major. Um, here's also admissions, which is where we started our tour. And there are also a lot of general classrooms here that you will probably end up having a class in. We're coming up on our Stephen A. Adler Athletic Complex. This is our facility that holds kinesiology as well as our arenas and workout facilities. So let's go on and take a look. Now that we're inside the Adler Complex, this building was actually renovated and opened, reopened in the fall of 2017. Here at Penn State Altoona, we have 14 athletic teams comprised of nine different sports. So here are some of them in our brochures. We have soccer, basketball, volleyball, bowling, just to name a few. We are NCAA Division III, and we are part of the Allegheny Mountain Collegiate Conference. Our Adler building has the Reliance Bank Fitness Center that has cardio and weights in it. And then it also has two gyms, this being one of them, which is our Adler Arena. And this is part of the newly the new renovation, so this was actually an addition to the building. As if that all doesn't make our Adler building cool enough, we also have a pool that does have open swim times, and we have club and intramural sports. If you're not interested in playing the Division Three sports that we offer here, that does give you an opportunity to still play the sport that you love. This is Port Sky Cafe. It is an a la carte style food court here on campus. There are multiple ways to pay, one being our, your meal plan, and that has three different levels that you can choose from. With the meal plan option, you get 65% off in-house items. Another option is Lion Cash, and that is you use your Penn State ID and you preload money onto that. With that, you get 10% off in-house items that also you can use at off-campus locations which is a really nice thing so places like Panera, Wendy's, Sheets will accept Lion Cash as a form of payment. Here in Fort Sky we also have mailboxes for students that live on campus so if you do choose to live on campus you can pick up your mail here as well as if any packages are delivered you'll pick them up at the front window of this office. This is actually our housing and food services office so this is where if you need a replacement ID, this is where you would come to get that. Here on campus, we have four residence halls. Maple and Oak are for first year students. Those are traditional style with one bathroom sh for the whole floor. There are multiple stalls in that bathroom, however. Then we have Spruce and Cedar, which are down towards the end. And those are open to all students. And those are suite style, so it's two rooms that share one bathroom. The four residence halls house 901 students and 650 of those are reserved for our first year students. So all four buildings do have card swipes to get into them, which helps keep our students safe. All four buildings are equipped with resident assistants, also known as RAs, and they are on each floor. They are there to assist the students with the transition from high school to college as well as just with anything that goes on during their time here at Penn State Altoona. They are a great resource. I was actually an RA for three of my four years here. Within each building there are laundry facilities available to the students. Also in each building there are some nice common areas where students can go and study or hang out. There's foosball, there's pool, there's a lot of things to keep the students engaged with each other. This is our bookstore here on campus. This is where you can rent or buy textbooks for your classes, and they do offer price matching with Amazon, which is a really nice thing. They also have apparel in here um, that's awesome for families to buy, so you can be Penn State proud while your student is here at Penn State Altoona. We are now in the Harry E. Slepp Student Center. This serves as the student hub on campus. There are a lot of offices in here that are meant to serve the students. So one of ours is the Student Government Association. They have positions available, leadership positions here on campus. 
There is the Division of Student Affairs. They are the office that oversees the policies and procedures for Penn State students and they are really meant to help with the student success here at Penn State Altoona. Also, if we turn this way, is our Campus Activities Board office, also known as CAB. They host plan, organize amazing events here on campus. They bring comedians and hypnotists. They have different little art classes for you to take. So it's really fun. They're all free to you as a student, which is really nice. So definitely take advantage of those events here on campus. Here we have Common Grounds. This it serves as our on-campus convenience store. And it's a really great place to stop by, grab a snack to and from your class. Um, and they do accept all forms of payment, which is a really nice thing. So you can use your meal plan or line cash here as well. This is our Pond View room. This is where students can do homework, hang out. I often came here for events during the school years. This is our Center for Student and Civic Engagement. They oversee the 80 plus clubs and organizations here on campus. So when student organizations are looking to register events or need help with anything to do with their organization, this is where they would come. Also here in SLEP, we have our Career Services Office. This is a really, really wonderful service that is provided to students here on campus, and it's also available after you graduate, which is awesome. So in this office, they will help you prep for an interview, they'll help you edit your resume, edit your cover letter, and then they also will give you to use business attire for an interview if you need it as well. And that is all completely free of charge to you as a student. As we make our way to the ICA library, we pass our beautiful pond that in the winter when it freezes, students will ice skate. It's a really, really pretty site that has a fountain at the end in the warmer weather and it holds our lovely ducks that stay year round so they are like a little personal mascot for Penn State Altoona. In the downstairs portion of the library, there are faculty offices down here. They are required to have office hours. They will put that on their syllabus and let you know what those hours are at the beginning of the semester. It's a great resource to use. They are there to help you. So if you're struggling in class or even just have a question, utilize those office hours to go see them. This is our Learning Resource Center. It's at the in the basement of the library. So this has peer and professional tutoring that is free of charge to you as a student. It's an awesome resource and it's really nice that often the instructors will tutor so you can come down and actually have some one-on-one -on -one time with your instructor in the class that maybe you're struggling with or you want to learn a little bit more about. Down here we also have our writing commons. This is a resource to you as a student that is free. You can bring in any piece of work that you are doing and they will help you to proofread it and to ultimately help strengthen your writing skills. This is our Robert E. Eicha Library and every Penn State student has access to this library as well as every other Penn State campus. If you are a Penn State student, you have access to it as well. Here in the library, you can often find it filled with students that are studying and working on their coursework, um, but it also has a lot of really great resources that you may not know just from looking at. There's our Education Abroad office, as well as students can come and rent camera and camera equipment to use for projects or personal use. Students can also check out laptops if they need them, and then a really nice resource that the library offers is if you're looking for a certain book and you can't seem to find it here in our library, talk to a librarian and they can check at all the other Penn State campuses and if they don't have it there, they will check the Big Ten campuses as well. This is our Edith Davis Eve Chapel. It is non-denominational, so regardless of what kind of faith you choose to practice, you are welcome to come in here. There are also multiple student organizations on campus that are religious based that you are welcome to explore and join. Now we're going to go into our Hawthorne building. This is the main classroom building on campus. Let's go. Here we are in Hawthorne building. This is the general classroom building on campus. So it has, this is where you'll spend most of your time with classes. We are currently sitting in the third largest lecture hall on campus. And also in this building is Coasters, which is a nice little coffee bar. So between classes, you can go get a coffee, get a snack, and they do accept line cash and meal plan. And that is actually named Coasters because before this was a college campus, this was Ivyside Amusement Park. And where Coasters sits is where the roller coaster dropped. So a nice little fun fact about the history of Penn State Altoona. 
In the upstairs part of Hawthorne, there are classrooms and also the largest computer lab here on campus. There is also the IT services help desk. They will be able to help you with your computer setting up Wi-Fi, or if you're having any issues with figuring out how to use some of the programs, they can help you with that. Also, they offer a phone service, which is really nice. So if you live on campus in one of the residence halls, you can call from your room, and they will be able to walk you through how to set up your Wi-Fi without having to bring it all in here. This is our Michon Family Center for Performing Arts. Let's take a look what's inside. Here in the Michon building, we have the Wolf Coon Theater that seats about 400. So in this theater, there are plays and productions that students are able to be a part of or to come and watch. There are also comedians that'll come in and speakers that will often perform in this theater. We also have two art galleries here in Michon. We also have our dance studio here. This is where dance classes are held as well as our Ivy Side Dance. It is a class that performs at the end of each semester that students have the opportunity to participate in. This is our Ralph and Helen Force Advanced Technology Center here on campus and this houses a lot of our engineering programs. This is the J.E. Holtzinger Engineering Building. This is a two-story building and it has three engineering graphics labs, two physical labs, two electrical technology labs, two biology labs, and a greenhouse in the back. There's also additional space for general use by students and faculty. This is the third and final building of the three science buildings, and this is actually called the Science Building. In this building, there's general labs, and then also our largest lecture hall on campus, which holds 120 students. Thanks, Rachel, for reliving your days as a Lion Ambassador and showing our visitors everything our Penn State Altoona campus has to offer. I know nothing replaces a live, in-person campus tour, and we hope we'll be able to offer that to you soon. But in the meantime, we appreciate you taking the time to visit us virtually. And while you do have the time, it's a great idea to take advantage of all the other virtual opportunities that we have for you. Just visit altuna.psu.edu slash visit. You can go ahead and schedule a virtual visit with one of our admissions counselors and also join in on one of our lunch and learns. There are a variety of topics throughout the coming weeks. We hope you'll join in.